Hi everyone! Today we will be making a lentil curry originally found on a couple cook's website. This is a great meal to make this winter as it's loaded with flavor, nutrient dense ingredients, and is also budget friendly. For this recipe, you will need a saucepan or a skillet, a small pot, and a medium pot. Okay, for the ingredients, you're going to need some sort of grain. So I'm going to be using white rice, but you can use quinoa or brown rice or something like that. Just whatever you have at home. And then you're going to need 13 ounces of coconut milk and one cup of brown or green lentils and about two to four cups of leafy greens. So I'm going to use bok choy, but you can use spinach or kale or anything like that. And then you're going to need half an onion, tomato paste, one clove of garlic, and um, Thai curry paste as well. And then you'll also need olive oil and salt and pepper, but you could use a different type of oil. With all the ingredients together and added up, it comes to about $4.85 per serving. This is a really great option if you're looking to save a little bit of money. To begin, we want to start by preparing the rice. And depending on what grain of rice you use, the instructions will be different, so follow the instructions on the bag. We want to cook one cup of rice. And if you choose to use a whole grain, this is a, way, a great way to contribute to the goal of making half of our grains per day whole grains. Okay, next we are gonna add our one cup of lentils to a pot with three cups of water. And then we are just gonna bring that to a low boil for 15 to 20 minutes. And we're trying to get the lentils cooked enough, but still have their general shape, so we're gonna be careful not to overcook them today. While we wait for the lentils to cook, we're gonna wash our pepper and our jalapeno if you have one. And then if you do not have already pre-washed lettuce, we'll go ahead and wash our greens as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and chop up our veggies, starting with our red bell pepper, which has some of the highest levels of vitamin C compared to other fruit and veggies. And the onion, garlic, and greens harbor fiber and prebiotics to support our gut microbiome and immunity this winter. So now that we've got our vegetables cut up, we can go ahead and warm up olive oil. Um, and then we can go ahead and put onions and garlic. And if you have bell pepper, you can do that too. We're going to go ahead and put those um, over the olive oil. And then we're going to let that cook for a while and then add your leafy greens. Once the lentils are done cooking, we're going to drain them. So once you've drained your lentils, we're going to add just a little bit of salt. Once the lentils are done cooking and your green mixture is ready to be added to, you're going to add the lentils to your green mixture. So next we'll add in our coconut milk. And then I'm going to toss in the tomato paste, the red curry paste, and the salt and pepper. So once you've incorporated all the ingredients and it's thickened a little bit, you can do a taste test and see if there's any other spices or anything you want to add, such as more curry paste. Once all of your ingredients in your curry have had a few minutes to incorporate and thicken up a little bit, we are ready to serve. So we've got our rice here and our curry, and we'll just start by putting however much rice you'd like in your bowl up to around a cup. And then just add your curry on top of that. You are good to go. One. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> As a lentil curry warms our tummies, we can look further into its nutrient profile to see how it helps to support our bodies. Per serving, there's around 568 calories, with around 20% of those coming from fat, around 65% from carbs, and around 15% from protein. This is also a high fiber rich meal, so we want to make sure we drink plenty of water to help our body process that fiber so we don't get gassy. 
This is also a good source of vitamin A, C, and B6, as well as calcium, iron, magnesium, and potassium. And altogether, these help keep our bodies strong and healthy.